with the Philippine Press Club of Ontario, Canada. This is our, how do you say it? The number one media grouping we have in our Filipino community here in Ontario. And it has provided us not only a reporting, but the chronicling of all the events of the Filipino community here. And um, it is a double pleasure for me to be inducting the new set of officers. And um, when we came in, I somehow forgot to bring the oath of uh, office, but we will do the essence of the ceremony. That is, all the officers will be here and then swear, and in their own words, swear to uphold the responsibility. And that's what it's all about. That is the essence of the ceremony. And we'll do that later tonight. I would like to thank the press club for generously changing the program so that I would also have the chance to be with our Kababayans in the Pangasinan Association of North America later. Here are our reputation. Good reputation in the So this is the old office of the new set of officers of the Philippine Press Club of Ontario, Canada. I, name and designation please. My duties and responsibilities, my duties and responsibilities, and uphold the constitution and bylaws, and uphold the constitution and bylaws of the Philippine Press Club of Ontario. To the best of my ability, and without mental reservation, Congratulations! Master of Ceremonies, uh, you know, it's so difficult for a writer to, to write a speech and uh, deliver it himself. I don't know if you guys agree with me, the writers in the hall. Much less, I mean, it's equally difficult for one to write a very short speech. And the most difficult thing is for one to deliver a speech and no one is listening. So I hope you will... Uh, Bear with me for the next couple of minutes. I promise to be very short and sweet in this, uh, in this uh, delivery of my message. Madam Consul General, Attorney Merera, Past President Paul De La Cruz, other distinguished guests, friends and supporters of PPCO, members, ladies and gentlemen. It is not every year that the Philippine Press Club of Ontario holds an event of this magnitude. But BPCO is in a celebratory mood these days. We are celebrating a renaissance, or a rebirth of sorts, with our newly amended constitution that further defines the purposes of this association of some 55 Filipino Canadian media practitioners in Ontario. On the other hand, we want to introduce to you the community that we strive to serve, the men and women behind the names you will find in the columns that they write or pictures that they take. I hope we can do this at an appropriate break during the dance portion of the program tonight. We hope to further enhance this interaction between PPCO and you, our stakeholders and supporters, at future gatherings when our social and education committees organize events like the Meet the Press or seminar workshops in leadership development, writing, or even photography. Meanwhile, I would like to address the members of PPCO. The bar of journalistic challenge is getting higher every day, perhaps faster than we can type away our columns or Photoshop our pictures. Social media and citizen journalism, jargon that has taken prominence only within the last decade or so, are posing a challenge of sorts to the form of journalistic practice that most of us were born into. 
There is even a concern that perhaps in the not too distant future, newspapers might become a thing of the past as technology becomes more affordable and widespread in use. I am of course referring to the information highway. Given this background, I can only challenge everyone to stay current, not only with the technology, with technology, but with society's need for information. Society has become very choosy in the type of information it wants to process, especially in our North American setting, and given the competing demands for our time. In other words, let us be relevant and sensitive to what the community wants to read or see in our work. I know that not everyone will get a copy of this event's souvenir program. Allow me therefore to paraphrase, paraphrase what I briefly wrote there. As members of the so-called fourth estate, the community looks up to us to, uh, to provide moral or ethical bearings. Our readers respect many of our opinions. We wield certain powers not ordinarily enjoyed by the average citizen because we command attention. Yet, with the so-called power of media comes the awesome responsibility to be truthful and fair in our treatment and reportage of issues. Let us not lose sight of this desiderato. Yes, with a single line in our write-ups, we can build as we can destroy individuals, even an entire community. This is how awesome things can get with our use of words. Yes, we do have the choice to either become a positive force, a uniting force, or a negative force. Where we become critical of the petty politics that some of us tend to accuse our, the other community organizations to be guilty of, let us not fall into the trap of engaging in this ourselves. Let us walk the talk, as they say. When we say we totally support the PPCO, let us do so in words and in deeds. Before I close, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, the members of PPCO, for your trust and confidence in my leadership. I pray that I will not fail you. Thank you too to my very proactive board of directors. You know very well I am, I am not going anywhere without you behind me. Thank you too to all of you, our guests, for spending time with us, especially Consul General Mohilum West, who has prioritized her attendance here tonight in her crowded social calendar. Finally, special word of thanks to the induction committee, particularly to the co-chairs, Mr. Jess Cabrias. Jess, would you please stand up to be recognized? Where are you, Jess? Oh, here you are. And Ms. Eva Akpawa. Eva, where are you? The other co-chair. For all your hard work, I owe you guys one big time. I will be remiss in my duties and I will lose their friendship if I fail to recognize the big help of volunteers like May Cabrias. Where is May? May, uh, I think she's still at the uh, registration table. She's the better half, of course, of uh, uh, Director Jess here. She has done so much uh, to help Jess in prep, uh, the preparation of this induction affair. As well, I'd like to acknowledge the contribution of Marlene Mogado, the other volunteer. So, uh, thank you to everybody. Thank you and have a pleasant evening.
meadow is white with the winter.